As salamu alaykum. Wa alaykum as salam, sir. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, we bear witness that there is but one God, and we bear witness that that one God is the revealer of all truth and the sender of all prophets. We thank Allah for his innumerable blessings. The chief among them after life itself is divine wisdom upon which we can live the life that Allah has given us. And so as students of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, under the leadership of the honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, we could not thank Almighty God Allah enough for his intervention in our affairs as black people in America and for raising up the most honored and honorable Elijah Muhammad to lead, teach, and guide our people back to the straight path of God. We thank Almighty God Allah that after a 40-year labor of love by the most honorable Elijah Muhammad that was designed to unlock the potential that was locked away by 400 years of oppression and slavery, that a man was prepared, molded, and shaped to stand in the gap between God and man, that one that we speak of is none other than the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. I would like to greet everyone that is present in the greeting words of peace in the paradise of As-Salamu Alaikum. Well, like you so much, sir. Um, to uh, our distinguished guests, to those who have traveled from near and far, we definitely want to thank everybody for all that you have done uh, for the Muhammad family and Muhammad number Muhammad Mosque number 65 at this time uh, This has been a difficult time for all of us, but it has been a learning experience our uh, job here today is to Have a dignified something that reflects the dignity and beauty of the life that Allah has chosen to reclaim and we want to have something that, that is reflective of that kind of beauty with our sister, our beloved sister, Linda Muhammad, who, as you know, served very faithfully in our beloved nation of Islam, right? Yes. Sir. And she served, of course, as a secretary. She was a mother. She was a wife to uh, the student representative of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan in our city, Brother Abdul Rashid Muhammad. She uh, labored and was faithful up until the end. Is that right? That's right. She uh, was a fine example of the kind of womanhood that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad sought to grow among the black women in the wilderness of North America. That's right. She was a true jewel, a true diamond, and she was the kind of person whose spirit would always uplift you no matter uh, what you were going through. And so uh, we will, of course, miss seeing her at the mosque, often at, at the secretary's table, uh, often helping uh, Brother Timothy collect charity. Uh, and so it was a, it was a joy uh, to be able to give our zakat uh, to such a fine and wonderful sister. Uh, we, of course, uh, again, want to thank uh, uh, everybody for your, your, your honoring the goodness of this sister today by your presence. We know that uh, some of us have come from far away. We want to, of course, uh, acknowledge uh, our regional representative who is here. Uh, we want to, of course, uh, br Brother Minister Abdul Halim Muhammad. We want to acknowledge our brother, Brother Bourbon. We want to acknowledge Brother Marvin and others who have come uh, to pay their respects to this wonderful servant of Almighty God, Allah. And that is truly uh, what she was and that is of course what we, we when we honor her we of course we're, are, are honoring the best in ourselves all right, all right. because she uh, is is deserving of that honor and that respect so in keeping with the wonderful dignity that we intend to to keep to keep going we uh, I would like of course to bring up the person who is going to do the uh, Quranic recitation. <laughs> okay, okay, good deal. 
So uh, at this time, uh, we will hear from our uh, sister, Sister Deborah Muhammad, who will, of course, uh, read also the resolution. Assalamu in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad is his messenger. I'd like to greet you all with the greeting words of peace, Vassalam Alaikum. For those who may not be familiar with that salutation, it simply means peace be unto you. Unto you. This morning I've been given the task of uh, reading from the Holy Quran, and also I would like to share a few words of comfort for the family and for the believers. The Holy Quran states, in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, in Surah, or chapter 19, verse 15, and peace be upon him the day he was born, and the day he died, and the day he is raised to life. Surah, or chapter 2, verses 158, 153 through 157, it states, O you who believe, seek assistance through patience and prayer. Surely Allah is with the patient. And speak not of those who are slain in Allah's way as dead. Nay, they are not, they are alive, but you perceive not. And we shall certainly try you with something of fear and hunger, and loss of property and lives, and fruit, and give good news to the patient, who when a misfortune befalls them, they say, surely we are Allah's, and to him we shall return. Those are they on whom are blessings and mercy from their Lord, and those are the followers of the right course. Surah 31, verse 34. Surely Allah is he who, with the knowledge of the hour, and he sends down rain, and he knows what is in the wombs. And no one knows what he will earn on the morrow. And no one knows in what land he will die. Surely Allah is knowing aware. And lastly, Surah 3, verse 102. O you who believe, keep your duty to Allah, as it ought to be kept, and die not unless you are Muslim. Muslim means one who submits their will to do the will of God. And may you please meditate on these words from Allah to all of us. Words of comfort. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan stated in a lecture, the destruction of the nation of Islam, he says, the Muslims who sacrifice much to build the nation of Islam are greatly hurt and pained, and some never get themselves back together again because they do not understand why all of this happened. Sometimes if we just know why a thing happened, we can go through it better. It is like a beautiful little baby that is innocent, and all of a sudden, the mother learns that the baby is dead. And the question, and the mother questions, and she asks, why? Why my child? Though the Holy Quran, the book of scripture of the Muslims, teach us that no soul dies but by the permission of Allah. A Muslim is one who is resigned to the will of God. And we know that life comes from God. And death also is ordained by God. So when death comes, Muslims are not supposed to fall apart. He looks at it as the will of Almighty God, or the permissive will of God. Death has come. So he tries to submit his will and enter into a state of peace and contentment of mind. So the Holy Quran says, the Muslims, those who believe and are doers of good, to others, there is no fear for them, nor shall they grieve. Sister Linda Muhammad was a true believer, dear brothers and sisters. I was blessed to serve Sister Linda in the last months of her life on earth. Sister Linda told me one day that she never questioned, never questioned Allah when she found out she was ill. 
<clears throat> she said she never asked the Lord why she had cancer. She accepted it as the permissive will of Allah. She always was positive and she never complained. She never complained. Never. She only spoke of the faith that she has or had in Master Fard Muhammad, the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Her faith gave her over three more years of life when the doctors gave up on her. Sister Linda came to MGT class and Sunday meetings faithfully, no matter what. The only thing that kept her from coming in her last days was that she was unable to walk. So I sent to her videos of the Sunday meeting and the Wednesday meeting, and she was very pleased with that. She told me that when she was healed, this is how much faith she had, even to me. She said when she was healed, that she would have a testimony for others to look to. Well, I am here to give her testimony of faith. Even towards the end, Sister Linda did not give up. She believed. She believed until the end. Sister Linda was a faithful servant of Allah who never grieved when misfortune came into her life. Her prayer, her sacrifice, her life, and her death were for Allah. Two Saturdays ago, some of the MGT were by her bedside singing the fight song. And Brother Wahid Muhammad was on the telephone from Atlanta. And when he heard the MGT singing the fight song, he sang right along with us. And then Sister Linda smiled. She joined in. And she joined in with us singing, we are fighting for Islam. And we will surely win with our Savior Allah, the universal king. Sister Linda Muhammad dedicated her life to a cause bigger than her while she was in good health and out. Sister Linda was born on May 26, 1958 and transitioned from this life on January 19, 2019. But the dash in between these dates was the life of a believer. I would like to read for us a resolution of life and respect for Sister Linda Muhammad. And it says, and speak not of those who are slain in Allah's way as dead. Nay, they are alive, but you perceive not. Holy Quran, Surah 2, 154. It is the sincere condolences that the student regional laborers, brothers, sisters, family, and friends of Muhammad Moss, number 45 of Houston, Texas, and the Southwest region offer this resolution of life and respect on behalf of our sister, Linda Muhammad. Whereas, Sister Linda was a reverent woman of faith and prayer who loved Allah and his messenger and shared memorable times with her devoted husband, student <laughs> minister Abdul Rashid Muhammad, and son, brother Jackie Muhammad, and family. Sister Linda held close, endearing friendships with her caring and loving sisters and brother, brothers and friends. Whereas, Sister Linda Muhammad was a woman who served Allah with such passion that all who met and came to know her would understand the word of Almighty God and would strive to better themselves and their families and their communities. Whereas, Sister Linda Muhammad triumphantly and passionately used all her talents to receive, she received from Allah, from Almighty God, to express her love through her commitment to the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad and volunteering her time to aid the, the lives of other women, men, and children. Therefore, be it resolved that we, the family of Muhammad Moss, number 45, Houston, Texas, and the entire family of the Nation of Islam embrace the family of Sister Linda Muhammad because all of us have a common bond that will connect us for the rest of your lives, and that is the belief in one God, one true and living God, we know your loss is deep and your sorrow is great. 
but we want you to know that we share in your sorrow. But more importantly, we recognize that this loss is forever an immortal, immortal gain. Lastly, we can never replace your wife, your sister, your friend, you had in Sister Linda Muhammad, but we will attempt to demonstrate and hold fast to her love and respect for you, student minister Abdul Halim Muhammad, the family of Muhammad Maz, number 45 in the Southwest region. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Uh, brother, brother Ahmed, reflection. name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Most Merciful, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, who appeared to us, the black man and woman, in the wilderness of North America, fulfilling his promise made to us in the Bible to seek to save a lost people who was lost from the knowledge of self and in bondage in the wilderness of North America. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, who appeared to us in that person of Pastor Prad Muhammad. And I further bear witness that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, exalted Christ. And I further bear witness that the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is that divine reminder, warner, and servant among us and light among black people in America and all over the world. I would like to greet you in those three holy names in the green words of peace and paradise. As-salamu alaykum. Wa alaykum salam, sir. Surah 3, I would like to read a verse from the Holy Quran. Surah 3, verses, verse 102. O you who believe, observe your duty in the law as it ought to be observed, and let not death overtake you unless you be in a state of complete submission to a law. Sister Linda, she was a, a very beautiful person. Um, since I met Sister Linda when her and my dad got married, you know, she'd been nothing but a mother to uh, his children, you know, all of my siblings, and a um, beautiful believer and wife to my, to my father. Um, I never heard Sister Linda, you know, raise her voice. I never heard her curse. Uh, speak any foul language of anyone. Um, just nothing bad. I can say nothing ill or bad about Sister Linda. She just was a very beautiful person. Um, things I could remember, I come home from school or from work, wherever I'm coming, Sister Linda, she'll always be working. She'll always be reading the Holy Quran, mm -hmm. uh, reading the, the Holy Bible every day. Um, she always kept the house clean. She made a loving environment uh, for us. Um, she always cooked every day, even when she was diagnosed with stage four cancer, when she found out. Uh, all those years, she always cooked. I always let her know how good her food tastes. <laughs> like, I mean, you can't go anywhere in the city and get a plate like Sister Linda. <laughs> Most definitely. She never gave up on us, you know as her children, her stepchildren, she never gave up on us. She always had encouraging words to say as far as striving in Islam, you know, and being a believer. She she smiled on us when she see us coming, going to the mosque, or pushing the final call newspaper, or helping my dad out. She always had encouraging words to say. And when she seen us, or when she seen me doing good, she always, you know, let me know. Brother Eichmann, I love what you're doing to help the minister. I love what you're doing to help your dad. You know, I, I never forget those things. If Sister Linda couldn't, if, you, if Sister Linda couldn't speak, 
I could never say a word. You could tell who she was by her actions. That's right. You know, she was a, a firm believer in Islam and in the teachings That's of the right. Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Every day. Every day. I wake up. Five o'clock in the morning, I sometimes I see Sister Linda praying, mm. doing her dua. I praise it through to her Lord. I'll praise it through to her Lord. She lived Islam by example. I mean, her faith is is was really strong. Mm -hmm. She had a real strong faith, Sister Linda did. And I just can't. I just remember. Only thing I can remember just good things about Sister Linda. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. even when she was dying, no, she she never, you know, gave up. Like never. Sister said, she never gave up. She always had faith of her walking again. That's she right. just say, brother, right. I'm going to be out of this wheelchair no That's time. Right. That's right. You That's know? Right. And it just was beautiful just to witness something like that yeah. and just to see, you know, how she dealt with just life, period. Mm -hmm. Sister Linda, I'll never forget Sister Linda. She always have a special place in my heart. And, you know, I always think to myself, like, I put her in the top five most beautiful person I ever met in my life. Sister oh, Linda got to be in the top five. Most definitely. Most definitely. Also, um, Sister Linda, she never missed a day paying charity. That's mm -hmm. one thing about Sister Linda. That's she right. was firm in her belief. Even to the day before she transcended, the day before she passed away, she paid charity. That's right. You know, um, I mean, that's a, that's, 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 a being, that's a Muslim. That's Come faith. That's yeah. example of faith. And she never missed the Savior's Day gift, you know. She always made her Mars meeting, MGT right. class. She, I mean, she just was a, a believer in, yeah. in Islam. You know, and she lived it day by day. That's right. To the day she transitioned, she always believed. She always believed. And I just thank a lot for Sister Linda. You know, I thank a lot for her family. I thank a lot for, for everything. For blessing us with Sister Linda for the time that I did know her, and I look at her like she is a second mom to me, you know, and she, she knew that, and that's that's all I really had to say. But Sister Linda is a beautiful person, and may Allah be pleased with Sister Linda. Right. So I'm like. Right. <laughs> Family, uh, we're going to hear from Zuri Bari Muhammad. Thank you. Excuse me, I'm ready. Go ahead. Okay, no, I'm your son. Okay, I, I understood it. I, I, I wanted to mention also, while I'm, I wanted to mention our brother, Brother Fami Sabri, mm -hmm. who has had a wonderful relationship with, with us, Minister Rashid, for many, many years. And a brother who is always there to show his support. Yeah. Anytime we have any issue in the nation of Islam, of course he uh, was he his he not long lost his queen, uh, sister Yasria Sabri, uh, just a few weeks ago. Yes. And so uh, we all are, are going through something, but by Allah's grace, as we are taught in our Holy Quran, that we will, of course. Get the get the victory in the end. Is that right? That's right. So uh, I wanted to to mention mention that while I was uh, thinking about it. Uh, but also, if if you would, if we can go ahead and just make sure that our phones are on silent, because we want to make sure that we keep up with the dignity with which the believer that we are honoring today has lived. We want to make sure that nothing from outside of that comes into this. All right, is that good? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So having said that, uh, we are going to hear from uh, a wonderful uh, sister of our, of, of our minister here, uh, <coughs> Sister Wanda Arabi Spurlock, who is going to give us some words of comfort. <coughs> good morning. In listening at what has been said thus far, you can really see that all of what has been said has been in such harmony. 
it's like we're all reading off of the same page, mm -hmm. even though we never had each other's book or got to see the page. Oh, yeah. And so I think that really bears a great witness to Sister yeah. Linda's life. So as I re was reflecting on the time that I spent with Sister Linda and also praying about uh, what I would say today, a few <coughs> key characteristics uh, emerge uh, within my thoughts, and I'd like to share those with you, and some of which has already been said today. Linda was really a kind and a gentle person, and she easily won the hearts of all of our family members, and we really enjoyed the times that we spent together. We had a tradition that the family would gather at my home uh, for Thanksgiving, and we would all give thanks uh, to God for each other. For the last Thanksgiving, Linda was ill, and she wasn't able to attend, mm -hmm. and she was really missed by all of the family. And as everyone has already borne witness that Linda was a, a woman of great faith, mm -hmm. and she never allowed herself to be distracted, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. even when facing the tremendous trial that she did in life, mm -hmm. and she endured it so mm -hmm. courageously. Mm -hmm. She was focused and she was disciplined. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whenever I would visit Linda in the hospital or when she was on the, mm -hmm. in the rehabilitation uh, hospital as well, she would be meditating quietly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or she would be reading the Holy Quran that mm -hmm. she always mm -hmm. kept at mm -hmm. her bedside. Mm -hmm. It was always in arm's reach. Mm -hmm. She was never bitter mm -hmm. and I never heard her say throughout any of the time of her illness, she never really questioned why me. Never. In fact, she never really turned the conversation to herself. Never. Rather, she always wanted to know how other family members mm -hmm. were doing. Mm -hmm. She had such a calming presence. Mm -hmm. She was always thankful and mm -hmm. always appreciative. Mm -hmm. In fact, when I visited her, and even my aunt and mother on occasions, we would really leave feeling mm -hmm. uplifted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Linda just had a way of doing that. And as it has already been echoed, she never lost her faith. Mm -hmm. Despite what things look like, despite the report she received from the doctors, mm -hmm. she never gave in and she never gave up. I would often say to her, Linda, although you're in the bed, don't go to bed on your faith. Mm -hmm. And she would smile and say, I never will. Mm -hmm. And she never did. never did. She maintained her faith and hope until the end. Mm -hmm. She faced death gracefully, mm -hmm. peacefully, mm -hmm. and without fear. Mm -hmm. She knew that she was loved. Mm -hmm. In fact, my mother and I would always tell her that we loved her, and then she would say the same to us. She believed in the power of prayer, mm -hmm. knowing whatever the outcome, that she was still victorious, mm -hmm. even in death, she was mm -hmm. still victorious. Linda fought a good fight. Mm -hmm. She died clothed in the garments of faith, mm -hmm. righteousness, mm -hmm. hope, peace, and love. Yes. Although she's no longer with us, mm -hmm. she left for us a powerful example mm -hmm. that we can all live by when one day we find ourselves in a battle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In closing, I would like to leave this message to the family. Let us seek to do good mm -hmm. and to look for the good in each other. Mm -hmm. To continue to love each other, to be considerate and kind to each other, to pray for each other, and to never take each other for granted. In doing so, we honor the life of Sister Linda, allowing our individual lives to reflect her characteristics. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Now we will hear from my brother Jackie Muhammad Singh. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, I bear witness there is no God but Allah, who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad, and in the name of his exalted Christ, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. So many good words have been spoken. I only have a, a few left in my hand to share. First, I want to thank, um, or we thank Allah for uh, Sister Linda, my friend. And I want to thank Brother Rashid for allowing me to even have a word today. Because what Sister Linda did, she brought two families together. 
Brother Rashid and my family and his family. Then I got a short message from her father for, for Sherry and Rhonda. Linda would always wash the dishes. <laughs> when her turn came, they were washed. She said she, she would never grumble when he asked her to do something. So he wanted me to thank all of y'all for sharing her experience with you. Um, Zuri, your grandmama loved you very much. We would talk about you. You're great. You're a great little sister. And you're going to do some great things. And um, you know how sometimes you think something will be easy? Not so easy. But Brother Rashid, you know, I thank a lot that she found you. Because you're a good brother. You're a good brother. Um, I'm just going to make it shorter than what I actually wanted to say. But so, so many good things had already been said that I bear witness to the, the truth. But this is how I remember Linda, my sister, my friend is that if we all right now just choose one of those smiles mm -hmm. that she would give you, you end up smiling mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to uh, thank you for this little time. Thank you. I saw him like All right, family. We are, of course, uh, nearing the end of this uh, Janaza program and uh, of course I want to thank Allah Almighty God Allah for whatever time we, we have what well, we have had with our sister, sister Linda but the thing I, I want to say that whatever we, we might be dealing with with one another whatever issues we might have one with the other we realize in these times just how trivial those things really are, don't we? And we realize just how much of a nothing a lot of our little issues really are. Because at the end of the day, you know, our faith in Almighty God, Allah, the love of family, the friendships, the ties, and the good that we do is really your legacy. Uh, a lot of times we've kind of gotten away from things where we may may look at children sometimes as a, you know, maybe something we don't want to have too many of, right? But at the end of the day, when you look around, that's what you're going to have. Your bank account, whatever you had of clothes, shoes, or whatever it might have been, it's those family ties, and it's those beautiful people that you leave behind that are going to make a difference for you and all of us going forward. Uh, Sister Linda, I got a, I got an opportunity to uh, interact with with her son, brother Jackie, and his beautiful children. Uh, I pulled up at the coffee shop and saw him, and in the fact that he had another five children, <laughs> and so the beautiful thing about it is that's part of Sister Linda's legacy, yeah. because we we in order for us to continue. We got to produce some other people. Is that right? Yes, and so, Sister Linda had one son, but that one son, praise be to Allah, he got busy, didn't he? And he, had, he has five beautiful children. And so, it was a blessing to be able to see the multiplication of our sister in that next generation. And so, uh, all of us should really be proud of our sister. We should be proud of ourselves that we have chosen the lifestyle of Islam. Sister Linda chose Islam. And then, of course, we know that Islam chose us. 
already. But but we, of course, had to come back and choose Islam. And our sister chose Islam. She lived Islam. She lived the righteousness that a lot of us talk about. She lived it. And the beautiful thing about, about a Muslim janaza is that, you know, I've, I've gone to funerals in other places. And I love our Christian family. My, my dad is a Baptist preacher. But when you come to our janazas, the beautiful thing about it is you don't have to wonder who they're talking about when they talk, say all those good things, right? Because <laughs> you know it's the absolute truth. Uh, that she was, in fact, a righteous soul, a person whose energy would literally penetrate your mind and heart and raise you up another level, all right? And that's the way we all want to be. That's what we all want to strive to do and to be as Muslims. The best thing that we can do is to carry on those principles that Sister Linda lived her life by that we all got from Allah, through the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, those wonderful principles of right, righteousness and truth. And she was an elegant lady, yes. the kind of elegance that the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad sought to grow yes. in the women in the wilderness of North America, that wonderful elegance and ladylike, that whole atmosphere that when you were in her midst, you knew that you were in the midst, in the midst of a lady, a true lady who, uh, of course, was always dignified, always very, very feminine. You know, mm -hmm. nowadays, there's this masculine thing going on, right, mm -hmm. with sisters. But she wasn't, she wasn't like that. A very feminine, very elegant, very beautiful sister whose true beauty was inside her mind and heart, though she was beautiful on the outside. Mm -hmm. Her true beauty was actually on the inside. And so we are so grateful to Allah uh, for her life. And we should all be grateful for one another. We had a, a little issue at Mosque number 65. And we, we've been here for 30 years in Baton Rouge. For 30 years, actually. This, this is around our 30th year since uh, Brother Rashid had started uh, with Allah's permission to study group. But we had never had a death. Like Allah has blessed us all this time with everybody, until now, we had never done a janazah. Mm -hmm. so, I, so we literally had to do research because the Honorable Louis Farrakhan has given specific instructions on how he wants to. We had to do literally do research. So on the one hand, we were at a loss, but on the on another hand, it was because we've been so blessed mm -hmm. as a mosque mm -hmm. that, we have all, that this is the first janazah after 30 years of us being here teaching the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, this is the first one. All right? And of course, we all are going to have to go this way. The Holy Quran says every soul must taste of death. Is that right? All of us have to go this way. But I would implore us to leave behind as much good as you can. Serve a cause bigger than yourself. It's not about you. It's about a cause bigger than yourself, so that when you do leave, you leave some good on this earth that will follow. All right? We all want to leave something good behind. So we, we all have to work harder as, the, as MGT and as FOI to leave that good on this earth so that when our time comes, somebody will be able to say good words about us and it'll actually be true. <laughs> <laughs> Because we will have done the work that Sister Linda had done. Sister Linda actually helped when the Honorable Louis Farrakhan would go to Phoenix. She would actually dictate and help as he would organize some of his Savior's Day addresses. A lot of those Savior's Day addresses, she was involved in the research and the implementation and typing things up in the outline for the actual Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Right. So she was right there yeah. at the cutting edge. And that's what we all want to be. I don't want to be on the sideline. I want to be at the cutting edge, right? And that's where Sister Linda and her faith brought her to the cutting edge of the actual resurrection and rise of all of our people. That's where we want to be. Praise it be to Allah. So uh, having said that, I just want to, of course, thank Mansa And Brother Jabril. And bro uh, 
Brother Jabril. On the mainstream. Yeah, with, with Brother Jabril. Sister, sister mentioned Brother Jabril years, from Farrakhan, the, the, the traveler, the, our, the companion of the messenger of God that's in our midst today, and a companion actually of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. She was right there assisting those people to assist us in being resurrected. And so we, we, we really thank Almighty God a lot for the humble jewel. Because a lot of us, when we on the cutting edge like that, we wear it on our show. Mm -hmm. But you had to do research to find out where she had been because she wouldn't, what, brag about it. Mm -hmm. Right? And so we all want to want to exemplify that wonderful humility that she exemplified as believers. Remember what the Quran say, that the servants of the beneficent are they who walk the earth yeah. in humility. Not like big shot, but in humility. And, the, and, and when you look at the dignity that Almighty God Allah blessed, Sister Linda with. It is really, really something to aspire to. So having said that, I want to thank you. I want to thank Brother Abdul Rashid Muhammad for being a good example in our city. And for, because this man is in, is in one trial after another. You hear me? Brother Abdul Rashid Muhammad. And from one trial to another. And at, at a certain point in the struggle, they were in the hospital at the same time. At the same time. Mm -hmm. But Brother Rashid and Sister Linda, when they were in the hospital at the same time, or, or were, were more positive in their disposition than a lot of people who are healthy all the time. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? That's, right. That's a gift from Almighty That's God right. Allah. That kind of positive attitude was, is a gift from Almighty God Allah. And so we are grateful to Allah for, for the life of Sister Linda. I believe that Allah is pleased with her. But may Allah be pleased with her. And may Allah be pleased with each and every one of us. And again, I want to thank uh, Brother Rashid for entrusting me uh, to be on this program. Because uh, with all of the things that I've done and all of the things I spoke at, TV shows and whatnot, I was more nervous <laughs> dealing with this because it, this is the life of a believer. And you want to make sure that you, whatever you do, you do it right. Because uh, what Allah did... In, in creating her and bringing her to the nation was done right. And you want to at least get close to that in what you represent, all right? And so I look at this as a serious thing, as a an opportunity, but a serious, serious thing when we're dealing with the life of, of a believer, all right? Somebody who believes in Almighty God and actually carry those things into practice. So having said that, I want to thank everyone for, for coming out. I want to thank again. Uh, of course, uh, everybody who came from out, outside of town, we got the, the big time people that have come in uh, to, uh, to pay their, their respects. Uh, we got um, uh, brothers from uh, Monroe, as well as uh, at Shreveport, and we have our regional representative, Brother Abdul Halim Muhammad, who's come to pay his respects to our sister. So that lets you know uh, the kind of sister that she was and the kind of family that we are as the Muhammad family, all right? And so you, you, even if your name isn't Muhammad, you part of the Muhammad family. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm talking to everybody. Because right. Muhammad means one word of praise and one praise much. So uh, having said that, let us go ahead and we're going to start uh, the recital. And I'm going to, again, this is my first time doing this. And I hope I don't do it too often. <clears throat> but we are going to do the recital of uh, our Janazah. Huh? And the believers from Phoenix. Oh, believers from Phoenix. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. The believers from Phoenix who have come out, and now that's a real long way. <laughs> All right, that's a real long way, and so that just shows you the, the, the you know the people that she touched, and how deeply that she touched those people for them to come, and to pay their respects all the way in Louisiana from Phoenix. Because I can tell you right now, that's not like a short trip. All right, no, no. that's not like going up the street. Right. And so we're grateful to everybody for your presence. And we hope that uh, you enjoy uh, the time that you have here with the Moss Number 65 family and with the Southwest Regional family uh, here in, in, in uh, Louisiana, in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. So uh, I'm going to do Brother Rashid. Imagine the repast. Oh, yes, yes. The re now, immediately following this, everybody can go to the restroom. <laughs> and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to Port Hudson to the cemetery. After that, the repast will be at the mosque, all right? The repast will be at the mosque, and I do hope that the, that the FOI did get some ice. <laughs> but 
<laughs> but uh, the repast will be at the mosque and where we'll we'll fellowship and and whatnot after uh, we uh, we go to the to the cemetery. All right. So uh, having said that, uh, we're gonna do our best uh, with this. We're gonna, we, we've been working on it, and with Allah's help, we're gonna uh, do this in a dignified manner, in the way that is commensurate with the dignity with which our sister lived. All right. So all right. So let let us go ahead. We're gonna uh, line up uh, in front of the casket. Uh, <coughs> men on the first row. Our sisters. Uh, on the second row, Allahu Akbar. Allah. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Maliki yawm al-Din. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in. Ihdina surat al-Mustaqim. Surat al-Ladina an amta alayhim. Gaili al-Magdubi alayhim. Walad dhalim. Allahu Akbar. Oh Allah. Allah, bless Muhammad and bless the true followers of Muhammad as that did bless Abraham and the true followers of Abraham. And surely thou art praiseworthy and magnified. Oh Allah, make Muhammad successful and make the true followers of Muhammad successful as thou did make Abraham successful and the true followers of Abraham successful. And surely thou art praised and magnified in our midst. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. O Allah, grant protection to those who are living and to those who are dead, to those who are present and to those who are absent, to those who are young to those who are old, and to those who are male, and to our females. O oh Allah, whoever thou grantest to live, let them live in faith. And whomever thou causest to die, let her die in faith. O oh Allah, deprive us not of her reward. And, O oh Allah, make us not to go into trial after her. Allahu Akbar. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. What we are going to do is uh, we are going to um, pass out the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad gave us peppermints, Sister Damozel Muhammad. Um, and we are going to pass out a peppermint, a, a piece of candy to each uh, person. So each person, if you would, take one. And we will explain uh, the meaning of this as I saw it uh, explained. <laughs> uh, and that is that when you put this peppermint in your mouth, the natural juices will wear away the candy. All right? And just as time, the, the nat natural, naturally, time will wear away our life. Our life will end. And at the end of you having this mint, the only thing that will be left is the sweet taste of the mint itself. And likewise it is that what will be left is the sweet memory of the person that has passed and inshallah the good, the good that they have left behind. All right? And so... Uh, And uh, according to, uh, I believe that our, uh, uh, the uh, director, 
they're they, they time yet to come. And we'll, we'll, what, what, we, what we will do is uh, each person can come up, and from, from, uh, from what I understand, correct me if I'm wrong, Brother Reed, uh, you, you can uh, give a, a final salute in respect to the person, or you place your hand over your heart in respect for the one that, that has passed. And then at that point, uh, we're going to line up those who are going to be in the, in the uh, procession, and we'll be headed to uh, the cemetery to lay our beloved sister to rest, all right? Assalamu alaikum.
alaikum. In the name of Allah, we lift to the merciful. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah. I bear witness that Muhammad is, of course, his messenger. I'd like to greet everybody once again and greet everybody. Peace be upon you. In in uh, keeping with the, the Islamic tradition, uh, what we would like to do is, if we can, let's go ahead and uh, let us recite uh, Surah Al Fatiha uh, together. All right. A'udhu Billahi Min Ash-Shaytan Yerajim Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yom Al-Din Iyaka Al-A'udhu Wa Iyaka Al-Sahim Ihdina Surat Al-Mustaqim Surat Al-Ladina An-Amta Al-Layyum Gairi Al-Maktubi Al-Layyum Wa Al-Qa'alim I want to thank everybody for coming out and showing their respects to our departed sister. On behalf of uh, the Muhammad family, Abdul Rashid Muhammad and Mouse number 65, I want to thank everyone for coming out, supporting the family, supporting the mosque and in this in this time. And uh, we are, of course, come from the earth, and to the earth we shall return. And with Allah's help, we will all. Uh, go from, from this state remembering the goodness of our sister and trying and doing our best to continue to do good as she did. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you everybody for coming out. I'd like to thank you all for attending the service. Um, Please continue to pray for this family for wisdom and comfort and strength. I'd like to say to the family, thank you for choosing Grants Westside Field Services. I hope I was able to exceed all your expectations. Hold on to each other. Love each other. Forgive each other. Be strong. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Well, alaikum uh, salam, sir. On behalf of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, First Lady Mother Khadija Farrakhan, Executive Council, Southwest Regional Headquarters, and brothers and sisters throughout the nation of Islam, we want to extend our condolences and sympathy uh, to <coughs> Brother Rashid and to the family. Uh, on behalf of our sister soldier, our lady leader, our woman warrior, Sister Linda. And uh, we want uh, to just come here, brother, in the spirit of brotherhood. Like I said, I didn't have to say anything. I thought that my presence would be just enough to let you know, brother, that we love you, we love your family, and all who are bereaved at this time. And so, lastly, I, I close, sister and brother, by, by simply saying this, is that in the Muslim prayer, as we open in the morning, we say, surely my prayer, my sacrifice, my life, my death are all for Allah. And if we really put that in its proper context, a lot of us like to live life and sometimes we pray, but that sacrifice and that death thing is something we don't wrap our heads around. Mm -hmm. The only way we don't die is not to be born. Mm -hmm. That's right. We're going to all go this way. Mm -hmm. Sister Linda can't come back to us, but we shall be going to her. Mm -hmm. With that being said, what would be said of us? There's eternity before we're born, there's eternity after we die. All we get is that short dash in between. Mm -hmm. So let us run the race of life the best we can uh, let our life uh, our life be a service and remember that every candle that's giving off light is being consumed mm. so let your light shine so let this little light of mine i'm gonna let it shine mm. so touch somebody's life with the light that god has given you so that when your time comes your light will live on because the light isn't yours it truly belongs to god right. who gave it to you in the first place that's so we thank you brother rashid uh, for being a man of your word for our vows say, you know, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. I'm glad to know a brother like you. We go way back, right. and that your word is your bond. You saw her through, brother. And may Allah bless you for keeping your word and making your word That's bond. Right. Faithful husband, good companion, great lover, and my brother. May Allah bless you and this family. Well, they can't. 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 Well